All right, hey, nice job overall with your altitude. But it goes to show that just by looking outside, we do better than when we look. Let's go ahead and reduce our power to 2,000. We'll go down to uh, 1,000 feet. They're still reversing that throttle. <laughs> I've tried for a long time to figure out why that is. I'm not sure. All right. We're going down to what now? Uh, 1,000 feet. Uh, we do ground reference maneuvers between uh, 600 and 1,000 feet. Of the ground. Let's go ahead and raise our nose for very, very slightly. Right there, that's it. That's it. No more. Good. So that was about a change of this big, and it cut our descent rate in half. Oh, that's that was great. That was a really good little change. Uh, we want to think in human hair widths. Uh, so, are we looking for an east-west road or a north-south road today? We're going to be looking for a north-south road. Or no, we're going to be looking for an east-west road because we're doing the S, right? Yeah, yeah. today's kind of a wash, but uh, there's more east-west roads out here, so we'll go with an east-west. How about that? Well, it tells you the wind right here also, so kind of quartering from behind our left shoulder. Uh, there's a good one that's come up here in uh, about a mile, I believe. Uh, when the sun's low like that, it's uh, we need to be even more vigilant with traffic. So just make sure you're looking around. All right, we're approaching our level off, so let's have our hand on the throttle. Traffic money is left. Just bring your throttle up to about 2,200 RPM. Perfect. Go ahead and uh, lock that throttle. All right. Uh, so there's kind of there's a road right here, a dirt road. It zigzags a little bit, so the truck is blown to death. But pretty much, that's a, that's a good one. So why don't you make a right hand turn and let's point. Uh, about 90 degrees off the right side. That way we can start on the downwind. So again, more aileron, less rudder. My name is Claire. Okay, thank you. Clear rudder, right. Clear right. Well, so again, I really appreciate your uh, enthusiasm with rudders. We'll just use a little, we'll, we'll make the ailerons to match. How about that? Oh, good job holding pitch in that turn. Nice, nice job. That's a perfect heading right there. Now what we're doing is just maneuvering to get set up for the maneuver. Alright, so this is the road we're crossing right now. Take a look left and right. It, it, is, well, it's, it is zigzagged a little bit, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? Correct. Unfortunately, on a check ride, people spend way too long out here looking for a, like the perfect place. Uh, just improvise a little bit. Right, when you're all set, may I have the controls, please? Have the controls. Have the controls, thank you. I'll bring the power up just a little bit to 2250. Uh, we want, what airspeed do we want? We're about 100 last time, weren't we? Yeah, yeah good. So we want about 100. Uh, full, full weight is 105 knots. Uh, we're a little bit lighter than full. Okay, so here we are clearing the area. All right, and then uh, we'll get ready to tap the hand when we're perpendicular to the road uh, because we want to enter and exit on the downwind. Okay, so here we are. If you could tap the heading bug, please. Great. Isn't that pretty cool? That's very cool. All right, so here's our road coming up. We're on airspeed and on our altitude, 100 knots, 1,000 feet. Here's our road coming up. We uh, have a higher ground speed right now. We'll count to 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, go. Clear left. And my ground speed is... Uh, almost, it's kind of halfsies right now, so I'm just doing about a half. 
uh, half Roger, angle of bank. Go ahead and look out under the wing and get where choose a spot that's about 100 yards on this side of the road uh, to rotate about. Uh, we want to do inside, outside USA. So inside, see how our altitude airspeed is doing? A little fast. So what I do is I move my eyes uh, back outside, make a little change in the throttle so my ears hear the difference. That's it. Now, I did not account very well for the headwind right there. And notice I did reduce my angle of bank. So that, that was actually a really poor example on <laughs> the first one. I'll get better here on the next one. Or Chris, as the Blue Angels would say, I'm Bro, glad to be here. Uh, all right, so here we go. Level the wings, cross the road. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. And three, one thousand, go, clear right. I'm, I'm minimal ground speed right now because we're yeah. we're in a direct headwind. Yep. Okay, so I have a relatively low bank. I'm only at about fifteen degrees. I'm looking out my wing. I'm rotating about a point that's just on this side of the road. This, this should be really lazy. We should almost be falling asleep right here. It's so lazy. But now the wind's starting to push us in. I'm going to very slyly increase my angle bank. Do that. Just add a couple ounces of pressure on your finger, near your fingertips. Uh, to keep the nose up. Now I'm increasing bank more. I'm at about 25 degrees. To fix my pitch and altitude. Even then, I was a little early. Well, I'll go around one more time. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. So that was a second or two early. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, go. So I cut it down to two one thousands oh, there instead of three. I have a relatively high ground speed. A higher angle of bank. Now, here I start to reduce angle of bank. Inside, outside. USA, keep your head moving, looking for traffic. But you can still tell if the pitch is going up or down by looking out the, uh, the edge of the wing. So, we're just crawling right here. We're only doing 83 over the ground. So see how low my angle of bank is? I'm at 5 degrees right now. We're just crawling. What I'm going to do is when we cross the road here, I'll give you the controls. We'll do one more turn to the right, and then we'll work back the other way. All right, you have the controls? I have the controls. You have the controls. So, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, clear right and go. Okay, good. Right. We have a slow ground speed here, so. Let's look out the right side. Should be rotating about a point on this side of the road. The road zigzag there, so it's in the, in the nursery actually. Go ahead, let's start to increase that angle bank a little bit. When you do that, make sure the nose stays up. We let our nose come down. We actually got into about a 500 foot per minute descent. Uh, just by five degrees more bank, it really drops the nose down. Good, nice, nice. Good, increase your angle bank a little bit. That pull up a little bit. Good. You could still do it just with your fingertips. Okay, lower the nose a little bit. Okay, so we're a couple seconds early. We're going to go back to the right now. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, go. And what's our ground speed doing? Or we're going to be... Where is it again? Uh, well, we have a tailwind now, so our, I'll show you later. Our ground is a little higher. Yeah, it's going to be higher. Okay. Good. Inside, outside, USA. Check one parameter and then look back outside and fix it if you need to. Great. Now we should really be decreasing our angle of bank here. We're starting to get into a bit of a headwind. Yeah, that was probably too much decreasing. And, and you can fudge it here. You can you can adjust and time it right to where you roll wings level right at the road. So we need a little bit more. A little late. Yeah. Okay. Keep turning a little bit. Okay. Roll the wings level one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Go left. 
But yeah, you can be a little creative, you know, with adding some bank right at the last second. Okay, so the wind is essentially coming from Aurora. Okay, raise the nose a little bit, we're descending. Now I'll start to increase your angle bank. Because we're getting into a tailwind, which means our ground speed is a little bit higher. Because we need to increase the bank a little bit, that's uh, maybe decreasing. It, decrease it just a little bit, try and time it right to where we uh, roll wings level right over the point. After you roll wings level here, we'll do a left turn and work back across the road. There you go, that was oh, good timing, was. really good timing. Alright, go ahead, do one on your own. So we're climbing quite a lot. Job looking out for traffic. Oh, nice job. Well. Careful of that nose coming down. All right, so we're in a tailwind, headwind, crosswind. In a headwind. Okay. So our angle of bank should be very, very slight. Our angle of bank at the beginning wasn't cr quite wasn't aggressive enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, went yeah. a little long too. Yep. Yep. But Good. Good. I'm glad you recognize that. All right. So all. It's not lost. Let's go ahead and uh, practice it on this next. Do a right hand turn. All right. Let's try and minimize uh, inadvertent pitch, cha uh, pitch changes as well. Overall, good job with altitude, though. We, we're within our 100 foot uh, tolerance. Okay, so talk out what's well, happening with our ground speed here. Right now, we're, we're just going to start speeding up here any minute. Okay. Increase my bank just a little bit here. Okay. A little bit short, but... Can you roll in more. Roll in more. There you go, rolling zone. Oh, you weren't short. You were right on. <laughs> nice job. Let's do one more to the left. Go ahead. Good job looking out for track. That's right. Okay, now this is where we need to be really patient. Roll. A lot of that bank out. There you go. There it is. Okay. Little guy, your left wing there. That's the road. That first intersection. Great. Perfect timing. Good job. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, head just towards the left side of. Uh, St. Paul, and then we're going to work back on this road uh, once or twice. It'll be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do that crab side slip, forward slip, and then uh, work backwards on that. We'll do that once, and then uh, we'll go into the traffic pattern. we have to do it there with the runway. Nice job. So, uh, may I have the controls, please? Have the controls. Have the controls. Thank you. All right. So. Uh, debrief that experience of connecting what you saw on, online and your whiteboard and as to what you experienced here. What was that like for you? It's just, uh, after what we did this morning, it was pretty much what I expected. Okay, good. This morning that really was, you know, uh, no yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what experience from this morning helped you be successful on those S turns? Just, uh, being able to uh, being able to uh, anticipate. Okay. Good. And remember, anticipation is one of the keys to success. There. Absolutely. Good. All right. What I'm going to do is just gain some altitude. That'll give us uh, some more time to work over here with uh, side slips and forward slips. Okay. 
Okay, when we add power and when we raise those, what rudder do we need to get? Right rudder. Very good. You should have dreams about right rudder. <laughs> All right, so again, what we're going to do here is uh, just demo, again, like we did this morning, the crab, transition to a side slip, transition to a forward slip. The biggest thing with the side slip I want you to see is where the nose is pointing. That's that's the biggest thing, okay? So if we slow down, uh, we need more of all three of those, actually. So again, I'm going to keep turning until the picture outside stops moving. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm tracking down that road. Do I have too much right, right on or not enough? Crosswind correction. A little too much. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, that seems there. about right. Yeah, okay, so. so that's a crab. Oh. Side slip is I add rudder and aileron at the same time. Okay, so notice I have a right foot. My left foot can go dancing. Uh, but the important part is that my nose is right down the pipe. Okay. So tell me when you see the nose moving very slightly. See that right there? Yep, just a little okay. bit. That's, that's enough of a difference to make a, di or to, uh, make a deal or no deal. See how it slid a little to the left? So what we were seeing earlier today on final was something like that, okay? Yeah. We, we want to work towards something like like that, you know, very, very slight. Okay. And then here's forward slip, so we raise the, or sorry, lower the nose a little bit. Have full right rudder. And now I just use the amount of ailerons uh, to determine right, whether or not we're tracking right down Romeo there. So where's the nose pointed right left, now? Down. Five, four, left down. Oh, but we're, I mean, we're in direction. Where's yeah. the nose pointed? It's pointed to the right. Yeah, very good. Notice I can overpower the forward slip with ailerons, and now we're turning yep. to the left, but the amount of rudder didn't move, right? Yep. I'll go ahead and recover, because we're at 500 feet above the ground. 